What's up, Adult Fitness? My name is Josh Riggs. I hope you all are doing good today. I'm going to be your instructor for a group fitness class, and we are going to do a stretch and balance class today. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a little warm-up, and we're going to start by marching, and we're going to do that for 30 seconds. If you want, bring those knees up a little higher. If you want, just go ahead and just march, get those feet going. Really get that blood flowing, get those legs warmed up. All right, in about 10 more seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. All right, the next thing we're gonna do are some arm circles. So go ahead and put your arms out. We're gonna start small and work our way to get bigger. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and start small. Slightly get bigger. So you're going full arm circles. We'll do this for about five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and done. Good job. All right, the next thing that we're going to do to warm up is get those legs warm. We're going to go ahead and do some leg swings front and back. You want to make sure you feel a slight stretch in the hamstring and in the quad when you go back. We're just gonna do this for a couple more swings. Let's do four more. Two, three, four. All right, we're gonna switch that to our left leg now. Good work. These wanna be slow and controlled. Really get those legs warmed up. All right, and four more. Two, three, and four. All right, we're going to jump right into the class. If you don't feel like you are warmed up enough, go ahead and go to our YouTube channel and watch a warm-up before you do this. But we're going to start off, and we are going to get right into it with some side lunges. So we're going to go ahead and step out, put that toe up, and then we're going to bend, keep that knee behind our toe. Really want to feel that on the inside of our uh, abductors. And we're going to do this for about 20 seconds. Don't bounce while you're stretching. Make sure you feel a little stretch, not to pain though. Good work, everyone. We got five seconds and four, three, two, and switch. We're gonna go ahead and switch that and do the right leg now. We're gonna have that toe up, and then we're gonna lean into that side lunge. Make sure that knee doesn't go over the toe. We're gonna hold this. Really feel that stretch on the inside of your leg. We're gonna keep holding for about five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to just do a front lunge. So go ahead and stick that left foot forward. Kind of squat down a little bit. Make sure you're getting a little stretch in that hip flexor right here. What we're going to do, put our arms up and lean back just a little bit to get those abdominals stretched. So go ahead and lean back. All right, and we're going to do this for 10 more seconds. In nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everyone. We're going to switch legs now, and we're going to put that right foot forward. Get down a little bit. Feel that in your hip flexor. We're going to put those arms up and stretch those abdominals once again. All right, everyone, you're doing good. I'm sure you want to keep a straight, slight bend backwards so you're stretching that ab. All right, and for five more seconds, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everyone. All right, the next thing that we are going to do is going to be an oblique stretch. So we're going to spread our legs, and we're going to get our left arm up and reach across. And we'll hold that a little bit. Doing good, everyone. Hold that for 10 more seconds. 
five, four, three, two, and switch. All right, we're gonna lean to the left now and do this. Make sure you're really kind of feeling that in your lats as well as your abdominals. And then you're going to keep going. If you want to, just go ahead and go a little bit further. We're gonna do this for about five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everyone. All right, we're gonna get into our first balance exercise here, and it's just gonna be a simple tree pose. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get one leg up. You can either go below your knee or above your knee. Just depends on how flexible you are. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hold this tree pose for about 20 seconds. If you want, you can have your hands in the middle, out to the side, or above you, and that'll all kind of help you with balance. All right, we're gonna keep holding this. Make sure your foot isn't directly on your knee. We're gonna do about eight more seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and good. So we're gonna switch this to our left leg being up now. And we're gonna just do that same exact thing, either below or above your knee, not directly on it. And we're just gonna hold this again for about 20 seconds. Really stand tall, push that chest out, make sure your posture's good and keep that balance. If you need to, go ahead and take a step. All right, we got five more seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. The next thing that we are going to do is a standing quad pull. And we're just gonna start with our right leg. We're gonna go ahead and grab that ankle or foot. And we're just gonna make sure we're getting a slight stretch in that quad. Remember, just to a little bit of strain, but not pain. If you want to make this a little bit harder, go ahead and lean forward and pull that quad back a little bit more. All right, we're going to hold this for five more seconds. In five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. We're going to switch that up and go to our left leg now. I'm going to grab that leg, hold it. And if you want to make it a little bit harder, go ahead and lean forward. If you want, go ahead and put your hand on a chair or the wall to help support you. And we're just going to hold this for about 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, the next thing we're going to do are some calf raises. So we're just going to go up onto our toes and we're gonna hold it for five seconds. And if you wanna make it a little bit harder, go ahead and close your eyes while you're doing that. And that'll help with your balance proprioception a little bit. All right, so what we're gonna do is five calf raises and we're gonna hold at the top for five seconds. So we're gonna start by going up. One, two, three, four, five, and back down. We're gonna go up. Two, three, four, five, and back down. If you want, remember you can close your eyes and make this a little bit harder. We're gonna do two more of those. And up. And down. And up. All right, good job everyone. Next thing that we are going to do is a simple tricep stretch. So we're gonna put that hand just directly below our elbow, pull that up, and we're going to get a good stretch in right here. And then pull that arm back so you feel that down throughout your tricep. All right, and we're going to do that for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everyone. I know you're doing great. And we're going to switch arms to this left arm now. Remember, just right below that elbow is where you want to hold. Feel that stretch throughout the tricep. And 
in five, four, three, two, and one. Good work, everyone. So this next one that we're going to do, we are going to put our hands behind our back like this. And we're going to pull out a little bit. And we're just going to pop our chest out and do this. And really get a good chest stretch. All right. Going to hold that. Make sure your shoulders are up. Popping your chest out. And we are going to hold this for about five more seconds. In five four, three, two, and one. All right, we're basically gonna do that same thing, but we're gonna clasp our hands in front of our body now, flip our hands around, and now we are gonna roll our backs and get that upper body, upper back stretch. So get those hands out, roll that back, really push those hands toward the ground, and we are gonna hold this one for about 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good work, everyone. Really roll the, that back out. Next thing we're going to do is a chair pose. You're really going to feel that in our quads and hamstrings a little bit. So you want to go feet shoulder width apart. And we're just going to squat down like you're getting into a chair a little. You want to put those hands up. You want your back to be in a straight line down to your butt. And we're going to hold that. If you want to make this a little bit harder, go ahead and get deeper in that chair pose. Keep those hands up. And we're going to hold this for five more seconds. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, everyone, we are gonna move to the ground now. And what we're gonna start with is a downward dog. So we're gonna get down here. We're gonna get our hands on the mat, on your yoga mat if you have one. You're gonna get them down. You're gonna come up to a V. And what we're gonna do in this is we're gonna just alternate calf pedals. We're going to do this for just about 10 seconds. You want to feel that stretch in those calves and hamstrings a little bit. All right, in three, two, and one. Good work. The next thing that we are going to move into are some cat cows. So we're going to get on all fours, get sideways, and what you want to do is really roll that back out like a cat would and then come back down. You want to feel that kind of in your abs as well as your upper back. And we're going to go through about eight of these. Into a cow, up back into cat. Good work, everyone. I know you're killing it. All right, and two more. Okay, good work. So now we're going to just move into a simple butterfly stretch. What we're gonna do here, just get those legs up, gonna grab a hold of those feet. We're not gonna bounce at all with our knees. We're not gonna push them down. We're just gonna let gravity do the work and push our knees down. If you want, try to pull those feet in a little closer. You'll feel that more throughout your hip flexors. All right, and we're going to hold that for about 15 seconds. You really want to sit tall, have that back be straight, and just feel that stretch, but not pain. All right, five more seconds. In five, four, three, two, and one. Next thing that we are going to do is a balance exercise and it's kind of a side plank and if you want to make this harder you can go ahead and uh, go up on an arm. If you can't do that it's alright. Go ahead and just stay down on this on your elbow. 
and we are going to just hold this for about 10 seconds. Good work. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. And what we're going to do is we're just going to switch sides and do that same exact thing. Keep that core tight. And you want to just balance up a little bit, either up on your hand or on your elbow. Either is fine. And we're going to switch. And then if you want, go ahead and get that hand up. It'll kind of help with balance. And we're going to hold that for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good work, everyone. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a 4 with our legs here. And we're going to just reach for that inside of our foot. Keep that back straight. Don't round and reach. Let's keep that back straight. You want to feel that throughout your hamstring. All right, and we are going to hold that for about 10, 15 seconds. Remember, stretch to a little strain, but not pain. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to just switch to the other side. Again, reaching for that inside of our foot, keeping that back straight, not rounded. We're going to reach. I'm going to hold this for 15 seconds. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, the next thing that we are going to move into is a figure four to stretch out those glutes and hips. And how we're going to do that, we're going to start with our right leg. We're going to put that up on our knee and lean back. Put your hands behind your body. And what you want to do is just sort of create this table right here. You want to just hold that. And you'll feel your stretch throughout your hips and your glutes. What we're going to do is we're going to hold this for about 10 more seconds. And if you want to make it a little bit harder, go ahead and pull that knee closer. If you can't do that, it's fine. We're going to hold for five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to just switch legs now. So your left leg over your knee. Bring that up, and you want to feel that throughout your hips as well as your glutes. This, this stretch does hurt a little bit, but you know, if it hurts, just go ahead and lower that knee. If it doesn't, go ahead and bring that knee a little closer. We're going to hold this for about 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good work, everyone. Next thing we're going to go into is a child's pose. What we're going to do is go onto our mat or the ground. We're going to get those knees just slightly spread, sit back onto those feet. And you want to just extend out, sit down into it. And if you want to get a little shoulder stretch in with this one as well, go ahead and cross that arm and thread the needle and lean back down into it. All right, we're going to hold this for about 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring that right arm back up. Go ahead and do the same thing with your left arm. In five, four, three, two, and back to the center. And get one last little stretch in child's pose. In three, two, one. All right. And we're going to move back. Lay down onto our backs. 
Next thing that we are going to do are some knee pull-ups. You want to feel that throughout your hamstring back into your glutes. So we're going to lay back. We're going to pull that knee up to our chest, and we're going to hold that. You want to be looking up at the ceiling, head rested. Make sure your back is flat on the ground. And we're going to hold this for just 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead and move that around. And what we're going to do next is bring that same leg just across your body and touch that ground. You want to really stretch those glutes out. And we're going to lay flat on the ground and swing that leg out. All right, in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And we're going to do the same thing with this left leg. Now we're going to pull that knee up first, and then we are going to hold this. We really stretch those hips out and glutes. Hold it down. In five, four, three, two, and one. And then finish it off. This will be our last thing that we do. We're going to bring this leg and swing it over just like we did the other one. We're going to hold this. You're going to feel that throughout your glutes as well as maybe your lower back. We're going to hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, everyone. That will conclude the stretch and balance workout for today. Thanks for joining and watching, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day.